Hey gang, I'm playing Lock and Load uh, Day of Heroes, but I'm using one of the scenarios from Line of Fire number 14, and it's kind of a cool scenario. It's called Hot in the City, and we've, uh, or the heat is on actually. Hot in the City is another different scenario, but it's uh, set in Libya, and it's US and, uh, in this case, Syrian, not Syrian, I'm sorry, um, militia forces, Libyan militia forces fighting with rangers against the Soviets in a hypothetical World War Three, you know, kind of getting started type of thing. And so this little convoy that's got to get out of town for the Soviets, and there's two, uh, or there's three ranger squads, and a, uh, or ranger teams, and a handful of Somali, um, Somali, uh, Libyan militia. And so the this convoy here has got to get off. Now, we're at turn five of... Six, I think it's a six turn, yeah, six turn scenario. We've lost a one of the convoy trucks. We've got to get both of these off for a Soviet win. Now, here's a cool, the only reason why I'm popping this video up is it's a cool little situation because uh, the Soviets have initiative in the beginning of the turn and they really have kind of forced themselves to commit to taking this avenue off the map. The other two exits over here to your right are blocked there were two roadblocks that you could put on the map and the I guess the allied forces decided to put them there so that left two roads to uh, make an exit from this one is fairly heavily defended on the left hand side and uh, just because of the you know accretive action that has occurred over the course of the last three or four turns and there's a nice little uh, force pull mechanism out of a cup. So each turn uh, the allies pull the number of units equal to their initiative number until all their forces are on the board. Anyway, so we've got these choices. I've got to get this road cleared and uh, the uh, American guys here had uh, jumped into Malay and blocked this exit because it was a Malay uh, under Malay, uh, it couldn't be driven through, so that stopped them uh, last turn from barreling off the board. And I also had a guy here who was ops complete who tried to Malay this uh, close assault this vehicle, and that failed. But he still was ops complete, so he uh, ops complete, so he uh, had a chance to shoot at these guys, but failed. Anyway, so now I, I, I can I, I I need to either a shoot at this dude, b shoot at this dude before he tries to Malay me and. Uh, and cause a problem there. Uh, I've also got these guys adjacent. Oh, and I got these guys here who could shoot through this hex and into the and shoot this truck and destroy it. Game over. So uh, interesting problem now. Of course, these guys could also shoot this truck here and it's game over. Since these guys have the most significant firepower and the best opportunity to pop the kill uh, first shot off the the, the blocks. I think the Soviet player is going to fire with his uh, BRDM on this uh, crew in this building here and and take his chances with that. Really interesting little scenario. When this first started, my very my second turn into this scenario, I was thinking, oh man, this is really not that good a scenario. I'm kind of disappointed uh, in it, and um, because I thought it was just going to be a wash for the Soviets because they could move so far so quickly and there was no none of the mandatory convoy rules that said oh you've got to keep your convoy uh, one you know nose to tail type of thing and you can't deviate from your course or you can't make uh, you can't there are no restrictions on your movement and that has proved to uh, be not the case in terms of the level of interest for the scenario because uh, the the kind of random uh, deployment of the Libyan militia and rangers and their ability to stymie some of the movement with the roadblocks has made it a very interesting little scenario so it's pretty cool stuff all right I am going to try and wrap this up now and we'll uh, we'll see what happens in the in the following combat